Let's talk about Azure Site Recovery. And this is a hybrid, uh, which means on-premise to cloud, backup solution for site to site recovery. So ASR is one of the tools useful uh, for your business uh, con a continuity and disaster recovery strategy. So BCDR, uh, and I just threw that line in there because of that initialism and you might see that language used in the future, whether it's uh, in an exam or on the job. So I figured why not put that in there? And so site recovery replicates workloads from a primary site, generally this would be your on-premise, but it doesn't have to be, to a secondary site. In case the primary site suffers a failure, site recovery will fail over to the secondary site to ensure uh, the continuation of services. So it can replicate uh, between uh, Azure VMs. So if you want to do cross-region replication, that's what you could do. Uh, it can uh, replicate Windows, uh, Linux, or any OS. Uh, it can uh, go from on-premise to Azure. That's usually the case that people are using it for. It can actually uh, replicate it between different cloud service providers. Not sure how it does that, but they say that it can do it. So that's why I'm telling you that here. Uh, and it can work with VM, uh, VMware, Hyper-V, and physical machines. And then I just want to leave you with a couple of terms because I didn't really do like a, a concept on uh, backup strategies and disaster recovery in this section, but I just want to introduce you to two terms you really do, uh, do need to know, and that is recovery point objectives, RTOs. This means how quickly you can recover from a backup after experiencing a disaster and recovery uh, time objectives, so RPOs. Uh, how often you uh, you back up. So how much data loss can you tolerate? And those two terms are just really like when you're talking about uh, creating a strategy for backup, those are the two things that you usually need to define, okay?